They didn't call the movie Jaws for nothing. A shark's bite can do a lot of damage. And that is something that the people in the aquaculture business are painfully aware of. Tropical, open ocean aquaculture is the holy grail of fish farming. Raising large fish like tuna could help feed the growing global population as well as reduce overfishing of wild stocks. But tropical waters are where a majority of the world's sharks live, and those sharks bite through the aquaculture nets, leaving behind holes through which the fish can escape. But now, a global partnership between an applied materials company, a net manufacturer, and a nonprofit marine research facility could be changing all of that. DSM Dyneema of the Netherlands, Washington State's Net Systems, and the Cape Eleuthera Institute of the Bahamas say that they have found a shark proof net that could help feed the world without feeding the sharks. We're here at the uh, Cape Eleuthera Institute doing some field testing for an innovative netting product that we have that is primarily designed for open ocean warm water aquaculture. The Cape Eleuthera Institute has been a tremendous partner with DSM and Net Systems to develop this netting product. CI is, is a marine research station. It's been great to push forward this relationship with DSM Dyneema. Their sustainability objectives matched up nicely with a lot of the initiatives that we have going here at CEI. The Cape Eleuthera Institute has an ocean spar sea station where they grow cobia. They've got an aquaculture team, they have a shark research team, they have a lot of young scientists on staff who are able to provide a company like DSM and Net Systems with the expertise of the marine environment. Warm water aquaculture requires that, uh, that the cages be very robust in, an, in the dynamic environment of the ocean. In addition to that, the cages have to also be extremely strong and resistant to attacks by predators. This project is really looking at how to keep sharks out of an aquaculture cage. We had some difficulties with sharks attacking the net and then getting into our, our cage. We've invested millions of not-for-profit dollars in aquaculture already, and we were at, at a standstill until DSM came along and said, hey, let's work together to try to find the right material. DSM Dyneema uses the Dyneema fiber, which is a very cut-resistant, very abrasion-resistant fiber. So we blended steel wire with the Dyneema fiber. And what we find is that the Dyneema fiber really provides the integrity to the net because, believe it or not, the Dyneema is actually has a much higher breaking strength than steel wire. But the steel wire definitely had some cut resistance qualities. And when you put the two together, you got a very strong cut resistant net, which is exactly what you need for the, for the very dynamic, hostile environment of a shark. We had to come up with a testing protocol so that we could measure whether or not the net would survive attacks by sharks. My recommendations to them were simulate the actual cage that these sharks have broken into and get down there, get as much blood into the environment as you can and then sort of stick together as a group and, and continue finishing your dive and, and let the animals come in and, and do what they have evolutionarily been programmed to do because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that bite. And we're gonna put the mahi and the two other bonita in the left-hand cage. Um, Matt, you're gonna be in charge of cameras. Oh, that smells delicious. Is that lunch? For someone it is. We bait these bait cages. They're about six feet long, three feet wide, and they're um, cylindrical, so they kind of look like just big barrels without anything in the middle. And we sew the trial netting onto them and then uh, sew fish to the inside of the bait cage. We will chum as well and use some you know, fish blood. Make sure that the, uh, the cage looks nice and appetizing. Um, make sure you know there's a lot of blood in the water just to attract the sharks. And then use cameras to record uh, the activities of the sharks as they attack the cage. Then of course we can examine the cage afterwards in the netting and see what sort of damage was done, if any. That cage survived the bull shark attack, so that was, one, that was our successful test. And this is going to be something that's a real game changer. We finally developed a net that when we put it in the ocean, it was attacked by 
really large bull sharks. And I mean, they attack that net as hard as we've seen any, any sharks attack the net. And after the attack was over, we recovered the cage and looked at the netting. The netting looked great. So we are thrilled because we now have a solution, a netting solution that if used in warm water aquaculture will protect the fish and keep the sharks out of the cages. As we take these images of this cage dropping out there, <laughs> with this beautiful hammerhead shark swimming in front, and as we raise these fish and, and do a grow out and, and prove to the world that this material is successful, that, that are gonna lead to all those good things for people and for, for profit and for the environment, is you know the sky's the limit the netting works the netting can survive not just an attack from a shark but from a big shark and as they say a picture is worth a thousand words this net can get the job done aquaculture experts also say that farm raising large warm water fish like tuna will bring fish prices down providing a sustainable source of healthy protein at a more affordable cost for consumers